is the um, profitability index. So basically what we're doing is, this is an example of three different projects. All of them are giving you a positive in MPV. You can see that the invest investment cost, which means the money that you're spending initially if you purchase the asset, is different across all three projects. So you can't just compare the dollar amount here because it's not comparable. The initial cost is different. So we'll be using the net cash inflows divided by all these projects' initial costs to find this profitability index, and then we'll be choosing from the highest one. So what this index mean is per dollar of investment, how much net cash inflow you're getting. Okay, so the previous example, both cases, CD player, DVRs, they have initial investment the same dollar amount, a million dollars. So you'll just be comparing the MPVs. So in this case here, if the initial cost is different, you'll be using profitability index together with MPV method to find the one that has the highest index. Then that will be the one to um, suggest the company to invest in. questions so far on this third method? And this tool here together with rate, um, internal rate of return is slightly more complicated than um, payback period and rate of return. Okay, because this is actually more comprehensive. It's looking at a longer time frame's return. And since it has a longer time frame, we want to know what is it currently worth. And across different projects, we compare them to find the ones that really gives us the highest return. And then again, in case initial cost is different, you um, compare these different projects also you add in profitability index not just looking at its um, MPV dollar amount okay now remember sometimes assets especially long-term assets has a residual value at the end meaning after using it for 10 years most part of the value of the asset has been used but perhaps you can also sell it or trade it in for cash right so in the case that